Hey everyone, it's Daniel here from the World of Apple with a tutorial about iTunes Basics. Let's start with the interface. iTunes is very similar to other applications that I have mentioned in previous videos. It has a sidebar that controls what you see in the main area, a toolbar along the top, and in the center is the main part of the application window that displays media and the iTunes store. In the sidebar, you have your library, which consists of music, movies, apps, and other types of media. Then is the store section, which has the store itself, your purchase content, and currently processing downloads. Below that is Genius, which finds songs similar to a particular one that you have chosen, and finally, there are playlists, which are basically folders for all your media. iTunes DJ is an automatically filled playlist designed for social listening, like parties, and smart playlists are automatically updated with songs that meet your criteria. To make a new playlist, click the plus button. To make a smart playlist and customize the criteria, hold the option key while pushing the plus button. To make a Genius playlist, find your song in the library and click the Genius button, then click Save Playlist. Back to the music section in the library. There are three views that you can use to browse your media. List, Grid, and Cover Flow. There is also a Spotlight search field. In List view, there are columns with the metadata for each song. You can sort the songs in a particular field say Artist, by clicking on the heading. Also, if you right-click anywhere on the headings, you can add one by clicking it in the list that appears. In Grid View, you can see the thumbnails that represent groups of songs that have albums, artists, genres, or composers in common. To see album artworks of the song in each thumbnail, simply move the mouse over it horizontally. The final view is Cover Flow, which has a list view on the bottom of the screen, but a jukebox-style album artwork selector on top. You can view the albums in full screen by clicking here, which I find is great for parties. When you want to add a song to a playlist, all you have to do is drag the song to whichever playlist you want. Also, to edit the information of a song, right-click on it and select Get Info. You can now choose a pane and edit its information. Apple has designed the iTunes Store to have a simple and intuitive interface so that it's really easy to find exactly what you're looking for. Along the top of the window is a selection pane that you can use to choose whether you're looking for music, movies, TV shows, applications, or podcasts. You can use the search field to search for exactly what you're looking for. To buy an item from the store, simply click on the button that has the price. Enter your iTunes account details, and then iTunes will automatically begin to download the item and save it directly to your library. When you connect your iPod to the computer, it will show up in the sidebar and begin to sync. If you click its name, you will be able to use the tabs along the top of the screen to navigate to each section and choose what to sync. Just like my iMovie video, what I've shown you today is just the tip of the iTunes iceberg. There are many more advanced features of iTunes, like home sharing, which lets you share songs with other computers in your house, and visualizers, which are video clips that match the song while it plays. Thanks for watching another video by the World of Apple. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.